Well, in B.C., the NDP's election gamble has paid off. The New Democrats under John Horgan managed to turn their minority government into a majority. Global B.C.'s Richard Zisman, who's been watching the campaign from day one, joins us from the B.C. legislature in Victoria. First of all, the NDP managed to pull off a victory in a pandemic. What does that say about the ability to hold a campaign despite the health crisis? Yeah, Robin, two different things here. First, it's actual voting during a pandemic. For the first time in BC's history, more people voted before Election Day than on Election Day. One third by mail, one third in advance, and one third yesterday. Then there's a politics of it. There is a trend emerging here in Canada where leaders who governed through COVID-19 seem to get a bounce at the polls. And this is exactly what happened with NDP leader John Horgan. He has been almost universally praised across British Columbia for his good management through COVID-19 and rewarded with 55 seats as of the early results coming back. And all of that is a signal towards four years of stable governance. And the first priority for Horgan, who is actually back here in Victoria working today, will continue to be managing the pandemic. I believe the best way forward is to make sure that government is there focused on the needs of individuals, businesses and communities and we're going to be able to do that coming into the fall and into next spring as we prepare a budget which will be again one of the most extraordinary budgets ever tabled in British Columbia. Richard let's talk about how significant this is for the NDP. They can get elected in the in that province but the question is getting re-elected so this is very significant. <laughs> It sure is. It's the first time in the province's history where a sitting NDP premier has won re-election. And the way that it was won was substantial as well, Robin. Substantially in Metro Vancouver and growing that base into the suburbs. So an impressive showing by the NDP who are leading from beginning to end in the polls and clearly finished the job. Although there are a lot of mail-in ballots that still need to be counted, the thought is that that won't dramatically change the outcome here. All right, Richard Zisman in Victoria, B.C.